Uh, morning folks. It's Monday, bloody Monday. Which was a... Uh, it's a three-quarters partridge reference, that one. That's for the, uh, the gentleman biker after last night. Had a few giggles at some partridge quotes. But we're back into the working week after the weekend. I say I ended up in Swindon for the Mrs. 30th birthday, which was all good. We went, well, stayed the night at her folks on the Friday had an Indian on the Friday afternoon I took her to a pub lunch then Saturday was an all-you-can-eat Chinese and then Sunday my parents come down to roughly where we were staying because uh, that's where we're getting married next year so her parents come up across her sister was there my sister was there and had lunch at our wedding venue which was very nice and it was an even bonus that it was kind of halfway home. So we got home at a reasonable hour yesterday for a change. Normally it's kind of a 10, 11 o'clock job in the night, but we were home, I don't know, five, six o'clock maybe, which is all good. On other news, I did say I'd give myself a little football update. That team that I played for managed to draw Five fucking five each. How the hell did they concede five goals? Pretty much consistently score five. Close anyway. But bloody hell. I don't know who was playing today. I don't know who was playing yet because the team sheet's not on the interweb. But that's it. Make your mind up. from a colleague this morning to say that there was a broken down lorry down here and there might be a bit of traffic. I was tempted to go a different way but yeah, it was a while ago so I'm hoping it's cleared or at least the queues are gone and you can ride around the outside of it. But yeah, five all. That was that's baffling. Well, there we go. Hopefully I'm back next week. Although it is a miserable day, <laughs> and by the sounds of it, it's going to absolutely tonk it down later. So that's going to be fun on the way home. The problem is I can't do any vlogging because the stupid GoPro case isn't waterproof. I'm not sure what waterproof ones you can get, if you can, to be able to put a microphone in. Reason that well, the reason that I went for the GoPro in the end over the drift is purely because of the different mounting angle, mounting angles that you can do. Because the R1 and R6 riding position is so different. I need to be able to twist the camera, alter its different. Uh, is it horizontal plane or vertical plane? I don't know. One of them. One of the guys in work actually just bought a Garmin and it looks identical to the Drift. A little bigger maybe. Um, but you can have the whole tilting doodah job on it. Which is, it looks pretty good. It'd be interesting to see what some of his footage comes out like. But anyway, I'm not in a fit state to be buying a new camera at the minute, especially as I've probably only just bought that one to be fair. Oh, here comes the rain. You said you were coming for two hours, you bastard. Okay, hopefully my camera will withstand the rain for ten minutes or so. the news there is to be honest that was 
my weekend was gorging myself on food and getting drunk. Yeah, it was quite funny though. My sister came out with us. They come out with us and she's like, come on, that's it, we're going to stay by the bar and do some shots. I woke up perfectly clear ahead, she woke up, massive hangover. Don't know why I go drinking with you. To be honest, I don't know how I managed to avoid a hangover because my drinking capacity these days is somewhat limited. Is this the broken down truck? Oh, it's a beer truck as well. That's a nasty place to break down. But it's coming into winter time. Clear visor is on. Pin lock in. <laughs> One of the first times that I've wore a neck chief in, blah, I haven't got a clue. Months and months and months. Although I haven't put the uh, thermal lining back in the old coat and trousers yet. But that ain't going to be long. I've got handlebar maps as well for the bike, which I'm not putting on yet. don't really like riding with them on, not because it makes you look like a turnip, but it feels restricted. But when it's perishingly cold, these things are fantastic. If you get massively cold hands in the winter, and you're thinking, oh, I'll buy some heated grips, yeah, they help, but it's the wind chill that kills you. And that doesn't help the top of your hands. What you really need are wind maps. Best £40 spent ever. Ever. Last year my hands were not cold once. It was fantastic. But this might also be my last vlog for a few days. A, I don't like riding the R1 in the wet. And the reason that I would have to ride the R1 is this is going for an MOT tomorrow morning. Because it runs out at midnight tonight. Actually, I don't know whether it says... I don't know, 7th of October, I think it is. I think it's the 6th of the day. So I don't know whether it runs out at midnight on the 7th or midnight on the 6th. But, um, doesn't really matter. It's going to the garage tomorrow. Tried to do most of the repair work myself and failed. I've got a rounded banjo bolt in my back brake and I can't replace the little sucker. So I'm giving it to them. It's a spindle, back brake on, fluid. Should be half an hour's work. I did try to get some footage of that and I, was, <laughs> I haven't reviewed it yet, or I might put it up. I get somewhat frustrated with it. But yeah, other than that, and I need... To, oh, the horn doesn't work. I have no idea why that horn doesn't work. It's normally just a little lead that pops off, but it's not that this time. So I'll let them fix it. It's too cold. I can't be asked. And I don't have the time at the minute. That's Hamster's update for the weekend. Have a fun week at work, folks. And I shall catch you next time. Hamster out. Here comes the rain. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the rain. Doo -doo -doo -doo.